In this video, we are going to take a look at two ends of the spectrum of seafood here in Sydney. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. This video is actually inspired by BuzzFeed's Is It Worth It? So if you watched, if you've seen Is It Worth It? What they do in that show is they compare two ends of the spectrum. You have the lower cost version of something then a more high end version of the other. So, you know, for example, you may have like a um, $10 cheeseburger compared to a $100 truffle burger or something like that. You know? and in this video, we are going to take a look at two ends of the spectrum of seafood here in Sydney. So the first part of this video was actually shot a few weeks ago at the Sydney Fish Market. So we're going to take a look at some of the foods you can get from there. So that's the lower end of the spectrum. The more high end part of the spectrum is a much more, I would say, casual to sort of fine dining type restaurant called St. Peter here in Sydney, uh, to be exact, at Paddington. We'll see if it's worth it on both ends of the spectrum. Without further ado, let's go! Here at Peter's Albury Station, where they have a lot of plain seared goodness. Like I ordered a lobster roll and three pieces of scallops. So both of them are all like flame seared. They you can smell all the cheese, all the seafood goodness being seared. I can smell it's super smoky around here. And it's a lot of action going on. Flames are on, cheeses are getting melted. The lobster roll is 15.50 each and it's 13.50 for three scallops. It's like Mornay scallops that's been flame seared. So now we've got our food, guys. We got a few things here, right? We got three scallops, which is for $13.50. If you get one scallop, it's $5, so you might as well get three scallops. This is my first meal of the day, so let's make every calorie count. Then it's $15.50 for that lobster roll. Okay, so both the scallops and the lobster roll has cheese on top of it. It's got like a morning kind of like sauce that goes on top of it. All flame seared, it's amazing. Like I can still smell the smokiness of it. Let's go. So we're gonna start with scallop. Again, as I said, it's topped with cheese, some sort of morning sauces, some herbs, and some ikora in it too. Mmm, that's nice and sweet and plump. So cheesy, so gooey. A lot of umami from that salmon roe. Mmm. Oh my god. And that, that ikora and the cheese go so well together. Just one. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I've just realized there's like rice underneath too. Last but not least, they've got the lobster roll, man. This also has some ikra on top of it. Let's see if it's good or just high. Oh, wow. Wow, they use this buttery brioche bun. And look at that, it's like quite generous in the lobster. Mmm, so much flavor in that lobster. So much umami, it's super buttery. It goes with that cheese. Then you got the kara. It's again another umami party going on in my mouth. What's up guys, we are now inside St. Peter's. So we're now in the higher end of the spectrum of the seafood video that we're doing right now. So that's the tasting menu. I'll put a price somewhere here of how much it costs. So tonight's menu will have salt and vinegar, King George Whiting, this line caught bonito, there's charcoal salad and calamari, there's a hand line caught coral trout versus rock flathead, 
And for dessert, we're gonna have Bob Rona chocolate sorbet. And it's an egg custard. I love egg custard. Custard! Let's start off with shakiri. Um, only made here, fish butcher and St. Peter. So what we start here, uh, on your right hand side, it's a pate made from marikot leaves and it's a toasted brioche. Put that egg down, spread that onto your, uh, onto your toast. Uh, Pull about that some trout salami and green olives. Um, and then here you got a couple of sausages made from marikot and some tuna. Um, made in the merge style, so it kind of has a bit of chili and paprika and stuff like that to add it to. Grilled peppers and grilled fermented onions. So first dish is trout salami. First I'm having a trout salami, so fancy. You got more umami than your usual salami. And this one has slight saltiness, but then the green olive like cut through that. Cod liver pate and pork jelly on top of this thick ass toast. Oh man. Creamy umami, sweetness, fruity, and so good. So this is Marquez sausage with some onions in it. Mmm. I love the texture. It's a bit more loose. I guess with some fish inside. Slightly in the salty part. But when you have it with the sour onions, it cuts through all that rich, like the salty flavor. We have this bonito, and what's interesting is what I thought we thought was a crackling. It's actually not crackling, it's a bladder. So I think it's like twice cooked, like it's been boiled and hot. Mmm, tastes like pork crackling. Oh my god. Oh wow. Damn, that's so good. That actually tastes expensive. <laughs> really expensive. Smoky, a lot of umami. Calamari from the south, from the corn inlet. We just stress this with some uh, olive oil and salt. And then underneath in the bottom, the little red pool is uh, enduya that we made from yellowfin tuna. So it's the, kind of like a spicy sausage that we made from yellowfin tuna trimmed in minced down. Seafood booyah, I've yeah. never had one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's we fry, fried it up and that's what makes the little dressing there in the bottom. This is insane. So this is calamari with, wait for it. Yellow fin tuna duya. Dude, I've never had seafood duya. I'm excited. I love duya on pizza. To have tuna. Oh man, this is, this is insane. Mm. The actual calamari is slightly smoky. A little bit on the sweet side. And the duya has got so much umami. It's got so much. This whole thing is all about being smoky. Smoky is the theme of this dish. The Dewey tuna doesn't even, it's like me. I can't even tell it's super amazing. So this is coral trout with muscadet emulsion. Dude, it looks insane. I can smell how smoky it is. I bet it's old. Mm. Wow. It's like one of the most perfectly cooked fish I've ever had in my life. And that emulsion is insane. They're just so smoky and sweet. Beautiful platter, uh, from Corning Inlet, Victoria. What we've done is that we butterfly the fish, taking all the bones out on the inside. So the only bone down here is to worry about the colors, the head, and then the little tail piece there. Um, I'll section up for you to make it a bit easier to eat. As well, here you've got some grilled pine mushrooms, a little garlic, and pasta puree, and then the steak cayenne sauce that we made from fish bones. Nice sauce texture, there's a lot of money in that. Wow. I love the crispy skin, like slightly crisp. I know this video is about seafood, but this dessert is one of their signature specials. It's their wobbly egg custard time. Wow. Eggy, creamy. Oh, so soft and wobbly. I love it. Okay. That was amazing. So we looked at two ends of the spectrum of seafood here in Sydney. We went to the fish market and we also went to St. Peter's. Now, let's talk about the fish market really quick. At around a price point of fifteen fifty, it's not too bad. It's actually decent. I would say my favorite out of all that is the lobster roll. The lobster roll was really good at fifteen fifty, especially. Um, the soft bun, you got that melty cheese on top and creamy sauce. Perfectly cooked, really delicious lobster. Straight from the supplier, that's amazing. 
Okay, now let's talk about the other end of the spectrum, the, the high end of the spectrum, St. Peter's. St. Peter's is amazing. And for the price that you pay, it is worth it. It is really worth it because you're paying for creativity, you're paying for the experience, and they just take seafood to another level. Everything was great, but the most notable dish for me, is it's just super creative, is that charcoal, the charcoal calamari with tuna duya. I think it was yellowfin tuna. If you guys don't know what duya is, duya is like the inside of this sausage that you'd normally put in pizza, but it's spicy, it's amazing. It tasted like meat duya, like the proper duya, but it's actually fish, it was tuna. And then slicing up calamari, grilling and slicing it up like pasta like noodles, and then your duya is like that sauce. So where's your favorite seafood place in Sydney or anywhere else in the world? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you guys did like this video, please hit that like button and smash it if you want to. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos. I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace, much love. Your boy Raf is out.